make your point on the news hour join arnab every night on the news hour with your question ask your question and join the debate and here is perhaps one of the reasons uh, uh, where both the government and the RBI governor, the now outgoing RBI governor, Raghuram Rajan, differed on a hint, a proposal, a recommendation that was made in the economic survey, but since then did not see any reaction coming from the Reserve Bank of India. Now, what is that? Navika is joining us with more details. Navika, it's a huge pool of funds that the RBI sits on. Now, relatively speaking, it's higher than any of the other central banks in the world. So why is it that they didn't choose to use this to help recapitalize the banks, put in some money into our ailing banks? That's uh, the question the government is asking. I hold uh, in my hand one of uh, the documents that the government was looking at very closely. Now, look at the government uh, uh, reading of the situation. India is next to Norway in the amount of funds the RBI is sitting on and that's number two. Norway number one, India number two. Look where the United Kingdom is somewhere here. The EU is somewhere here. Uh, and, and countries uh, like uh, Germany are somewhere here, far below Belgium, Germany, uh, uh, France, all of them are much below India. What does the uh, government say? It says, Reserve Bank of India is presently having total equity amounting to 31.5% of its assets. Uh, this is almost three times the median level of equity, that is 11% that major central banks normally hold. So India is sitting on 3%, uh, three times uh, the percentage of equity that normally um, a countries really uh, bank on, that is 11%. India is sitting on 35%, which means, uh, Tanvi, what does it actually mean in monetary terms? It means that if the RBI had released 2 lakh crores into the market, either to public sector banks to recover their uh, bad loans and to uh, recapitalize them so that they could lend forward or create a bank which would absorb all the bad loans that were there on the balance sheets, it would still have 25% of uh, the credit capital equity on its uh, balance sheet. It would only come down one notch from 31.5 to 25% uh, uh, of uh, capitalization of its uh, uh, entire uh, monetary reserves that it sits on. And if it had released 4 lakh crores into the market or to public sector banks, it would still be 19%, which is here. 19% which would still be above Belgium, Germany, France, uh, Malaysia, Netherlands uh, and Switzerland, other such countries. So why is India sitting on so many idle funds? That's the question the government is asking. Two issues on which uh, Raghuram Rajan and the government did not see eye to eye. One was the issue of interest rates that's well talked about. Raghuram Rajan probably did not lower interest rates as much as the government wanted it to because it wanted to kickstart the investment cycle here in India which was not uh, uh, you know, really getting kickstarted because of the high interest rates. The other issue is uh, why was the Reserve Bank sitting on these idle funds? Why could it not give these funds uh, to public sector banks that were bleeding because of bad loans, because of their debts, uh, which uh, weren't really going anywhere and uh, banks were choked for funds? These are the questions and this, uh, what I'm uh, holding in my hand, is a top level internal document of the government which clearly shows that this is the way the government is thinking. Why was the RBI sitting on... 35% of its asset value held in equity, held in idle cash for our viewers, if I can break it down. If it had released 2 lakh crores, it would still maintain 25%. And if it had released 4 lakh crores, it will still be at 19%, which is way above the 11% median that normally banks say is a safe level to maintain. And, and Why perhaps would a very India small not chunk release these funds into the market? And perhaps a very small chunk of what uh, uh, the RBI is actually sitting on, Navika, like you pointed out, it's relatively higher to a lot of central banks across the world. Now, the point is that this, this specific point was actually hinted by the government. It was put in as many words, even in the economic survey that came out in February 2016, which though went on to caution that even if RBI does do this, it will continue to have its autonomy, it will continue to have its independence. So between February and now, Navika, was there any conversation 
between the government and the RBI to do this because we are talking about just 4 lakh crore rupees from the RBI's point of view but that's a significant amount of money to restart the investment isn't it that's right. In fact, 2 lakh crore at uh, the lower estimate and 4 lakh crore at the higher estimate is the kind of funds that the government wanted RBI to release into the markets to give to public sector uh, banks, which could then give it uh, to uh, other businesses which were really choked for funds. Uh, in fact, what we do learn from our sources in the finance ministry, uh, it is actually the small and medium enterprises that have been paying the price. They haven't been getting the funds that they require from public sector banks and it is this sector that this government wants uh, uh, wanted in fact uh, to uh, lead the growth story as far as India is concerned and that really wasn't happening because the RBI was choking these funds the question and why the government was at uh, a complete loggerheads with Raghuram Rajan though a very nice relationship was maintained uh, uh, on the surface and the finance ministry at Raghuram Rajan uh, never really had anything uh, uh, you know, which was untoward in the relationship they shared. But clearly there were reservations why the government felt that the Raghuram Rajan formula wasn't working for the story that the NDA government wanted to say, the Modi government wanted to say. The Modi government wanted more funds for the small and medium enterprises to actually kickstart the investment cycle in the economy. That really wasn't happening because the RBI was sitting on these funds. The public sector banks, on the other hand, were completely choked for funds, uh, not getting these funds. If they had given 2 lakh crore rupees, it would have revitalized the investment cycle in India. And uh, uh, in fact, experts even say up to 4 lakh crores would have right. still meant 19% of the asset value would have been held in uh, equity terms which was very robust compared to the 11% median that most banks maintained.